I'm gonna say it, the CrossFit community sucks. I've been doing CrossFit for over seven years and it is undeniable that there's been a rapid decline in the culture within CrossFit. With the hate comments, the trashing of athletes, we see so much of it in the comment section and everybody has become an armchair judge. Everybody has an opinion on everything and they're not afraid to say the absolute worst things they can think of to people within the community. Obviously, a quick disclaimer, there is loads of positivity within the CrossFit space as well. There are lots of people that have positive experiences in their gym and I'm gonna go through some of those as well. But we are seeing a massive trickle down effect and this is really impacting both the popularity of the sport and people's experiences. I think quite a lot of it is the rapid decline in content that was put out by CrossFit. Back in my day they had the road to the games, they had stories of different athletes that you would follow along with. There was a lot more super positive content being pumped out by CrossFit and lots of these narratives that painted the athletes in a really nice light. They told stories and they helped us get to know the athletes better. But then when CrossFit sacked its entire media team that style of content ultimately vanished. And this has seen a rise in content that paints athletes in a bad light. It's now commonplace to hear negative things about all of the athletes within the space because they get views, they get clicks, as it does in every part of social media right now. Negativity drives engagement. And a lot of people really don't care the damage that that might be doing to the athletes within the sport and the community as a whole. I would love to see some of the old style CrossFit media back where it just told the stories of the athletes and made them seem more human so we could watch more content about them and get to know them better. It would be really nice to see some of that content from an unbiased angle like when it came straight out of HQ. When it comes down to the angry people in the comments section and the wider CrossFit media, we like to say that these people are just online. That makes us feel more comfortable with the fact that these people are in the community creating this hostile environment. But in reality, in actual fact, these people are in gyms. Many of the people that leave hate comments both on my videos and on the Morning Chalk Up and Barbell Spin are gym owners, gym coaches, and general participants within CrossFit. It's really common that people like to pretend that people that leave hate comments are bots because we don't want to believe that they're real people. We can't almost comprehend that somebody would say this kind of stuff, but it's a harsh reality that we need to realise. It would be delusional to deny that they're not within the community. Something I feel and some of my my audience have also speculated is that a pocket of this does seem to come from a certain area of the world. We know there are parts of the world where this kind of culture thrives and this commenter put it really well by saying, my gym is a great community with supportive people, however online the overall CrossFit community is misogynistic, racist, transphobic and exclusionary. And I've definitely seen a lot of videos and comments that would attest to that. This person says, CrossFit men suck so much, it's always the men with these comments wish they'd shut up. And I totally agree with her there. It's completely undeniable that these people are mostly men. 99.9% .9 of the hate comments that I get are from men and I don't really know what's wrong with the men in the fitness space, why they feel the need to lash out, mostly at women or trans people or people in a marginalized group. I can only speculate that this pressure to be hyper-masculine is causing a lot of men to bottle up their anger and then they lash out at people online, which is never okay. They should be holding themselves accountable to deal with their anger in a healthy way and not just have a go at people. There's also some issues within gyms and I think it's important that coaches and box owners listen to this so they can start to mitigate some of this behaviour. And this isn't new, a lot of this has been around for quite a long time but I think it might be getting worse. Especially within the area of the fitness space I sit, I mostly work with beginners and intermediates and people that have like dipped their toe in CrossFit or want to dip their toe in CrossFit. Some of them continue, some of them don't. And a lot of the reasons why people say that they've left is due to clickiness, elitism, and not being inclusive. Can be very elitist, especially with the open from a beginner's perspective. I think it's important with the open that we make people feel welcome and like they are of value and celebrated no matter what ability they are. And I have been to so many different gyms in my time doing CrossFit and in some gyms there is definitely this more elitist mindset. I was even positively impacted by this at a certain point because I was a competitive athlete for quite a lot of the years where I've done CrossFit and I was definitely given way more attention than some of the newer people within the gym. Coaches would want to go on teams with me, they would help me out more, they would give me more tips. I would be invited to exclusive competitors classes that were made for only people that wanted to compete and they were way out of the comfort zone of anybody with a lesser ability. And I don't think it's a bad thing to have classes like that but I think it is important to help your community within your gym to still feel included even if they're not an elite athlete, even if they're just there to have fun and enjoy the community. That's what it was always supposed to be about, right? I've also heard people talk about bitchiness and competitiveness and clicks forming within the gym. People that 
laugh at others for having a lower ability than them, which is horrible, and competitiveness when it comes to leaderboards. Now, in the gym that I currently go to, we don't have leaderboards, we don't track results on online platforms, but I know in other gyms that they do. And in some cases where it's left unchecked, that can lead to participants being mean to each other about the performance and measuring themselves off each other. There are even some gyms that I know of that literally rank their athletes with like A groups and B groups, and the A group is the one that's gonna be picked for the top team in the competition, and the B group is like the seconds, the people that maybe haven't attended as many training sessions as others, or are seen as less dedicated or just not as good. And then like, a, and then like a C group, of people that are not competitive and just are there for fun. And I've also heard of cases of people in that top group laughing and being mean to people in the bottom group. I don't necessarily think CrossFit is to blame for this, I think people are to blame, and it becomes like a high school environment where you get these cliques and people that bully each other and people that are mean to each other. I, th I think that can often happen when you have groups of people that are together. But what makes the difference in that happening or not happening is the leadership from the head coach or the gym owner. If that coach or gym owner encourages that competitive atmosphere, makes people feel bad about their performance and is harsh with people dropping them out of teams or just generally not nice if somebody performs not as well as they thought they should, then it will foster that environment of bitchiness, competitiveness and nastiness. But if you've got a community that's built on community and compassion and inclusiveness and being friendly, which the gym that I currently go to is, and they value athletes of all levels and they would never be mean to anybody for their performance and they give people the support that they need no matter what level they are, that fosters a really nice inclusive atmosphere and kind of discourages that clickiness. Especially if the coaches and owners understand that people are there for different reasons. Some people are there to compete and some people are there just to enjoy it, just to have fun, just to get fit. I do also think that some of these gyms that are hyper competitive almost actively exclude people that are beginners and maybe are just there to get fit because of what they want their gym to be like and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let me know what you think. This comment here I think speaks to that culture that I was referring to before. Some gyms are inclusive but there's a big conservative macho culture that's super toxic and I would agree with that. I've definitely seen that in various scenarios and also heard about it in online communities. Love the fitness side but I have found the social side hard as I find it can be clicky and as somebody with social anxiety the social side can be really difficult anyway. I find the social side of CrossFit really hard and unless a gym is really inclusive and like actively inclusive with their members I do find it really hard to fit in and I will always be that person because I struggle with social anxiety. And before you say it, this is a camera. I'm talking to a camera right now. Me putting myself online has nothing to do with my social anxiety. Social anxiety is when you're like, in person with people, so I struggle with groups of more than three. I struggle to interact and monitor the body language and know what's going on and know what to say or to do. I struggle with a lot in those scenarios. I hate it when people are like, oh, but you put yourself online. That's like, you clearly don't have social anxiety. This is a camera. I'm talking to an inanimate object. <laughs> it's like leaving a voicemail for people I care about and that that is what I'm doing for you right now which is much easier than having to interact in a social environment, especially when it's unstructured, for me at least. And then we do have loads of positive comments like, I love my CrossFit gym, it's changed my life. Online is a bunch of emotionally insecure people, infuriating, in person, I love my gym. And I think that is quite clearly what most people think. I go to a great box that's so supportive and inclusive. I am blind to CrossFit as a whole. I felt so supported during my first open season. But then on the other hand, I also got lots of messages like this. Very clicky. I left a while ago when I fell pregnant. I'm very anxious to go back. I love my gym, but when I've been to some others as a spectator for comps, it's been a bit toxic. I can relate to that. The amount of times people would say horrible things about me and other people that went to the gym <laughs> when I went to competitions. I would hear them talking behind my back. Sometimes they'd come up and be like confrontational. The CrossFit community down here is quite close knit and people would just get pissed off at other gyms for some reason. Like the gym that I went to at the time wasn't very well liked. I don't really know why it wasn't. I don't think we were doing anything. I think maybe some of it was that we were visible in that we were the people that were posting on Instagram. A lot of people were not posting on Instagram and we would also win quite a lot of competitions and there'd be some, some controversy there. I don't really know. It's Certainly in the early days of my competitive CrossFit journey, there was a lot of that at competitions. Like a bit of rivalry is okay, but there's a limit. But I think that's with people in general. 
that we also need to understand that you should be kind to others and not bitch and say horrible things about people just because they're doing well or I don't know. <laughs> the right gym can be welcoming but some boxes are a bit clicky. I mean, I've been to loads of gyms and I can definitely vouch for that. That like some, it, ta it took me a while to find gyms that I wanted to join. I would hop around and pick one that had a good vibe in my mind. Ambivalent, it doesn't feel as welcoming as it did 10 years ago. I moved boxes, but it's the same there. See, this is, this is what I believe as well. Something has definitely changed. And I think it is driven by some of the online CrossFit community and people having these horrible discussions about athletes in the comments saying nasty things. The armchair judges, the CrossFit media, yeah, all of that is playing a part but there's definitely a decline in how inclusive the community feels and I definitely don't like it anymore <laughs> the community in other sports is much more friendly and arguably CrossFit tries to sell the sport based off the community feel that you get that's like one of its top selling points we need to stop supporting and fueling and feeding into this negativity and we also need to tackle it at a box level and there's one other issue I've seen within the CrossFit Open is that a lot of people think that the Open isn't inclusive because they can't finish the workout when it's got like chest to bar muscle ups or pull ups in it and I think CrossFit aren't doing the best job right now at explaining as they did when I joined that those workouts are not meant to be completed they are opportunities to get your first muscle up chest to bar pull up you're not expected to finish the workout but I get messages from so many scaled athletes or athletes that are trying out the RX division feeling like it's uninclusive because they can't finish the workout or they can't do the movement they can't do the muscle ups and CrossFit seem to have stopped explaining that it's okay if you just get one like and then getting one will get you a little bit up on the leaderboard and that's the game that we're playing I think the lack of CrossFit media as a whole is a huge problem and that is fueling a lot of this but that is definitely something that I think needs to change and would make the sport feel more inclusive especially for these newbies that are just joining and then I did a poll and quite a lot of my audience answered this and on the whole the experience is positive or somewhere in between positive and negative so only 10% of people click negative but 53% did tick somewhere in the middle so they don't feel wholly positive but 37% did say positive so we've definitely got a lot of good experiences but there's a hell of a lot of work to be done and I think we can get back to the point where the CrossFit community feels friendly, inclusive, supportive and we stop getting all of this hate all of the time. Like I feel like the girl out of Mean Girls like I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat be happy. She doesn't even go here! just like stop being mean to each other that would be great there's a dirty secret that happens in a lot of crossfit gyms and i have witnessed this i wonder if you know what i'm talking about if you'd like to hear more then watch this video next thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye